hey what's up guys this side ara when you're watching a trick readers youtube channel so this is the latest and powerful miui hellas xtr room which is mainly made for redmi note 10 and i have been using this room for quite a few days and this room is super powerful so in this video i'll be sharing everything to you all so without wasting a further ado let's get started with the video so guys as you can see this from the what do you say about device or my device this is based on MIUI by Xiaomi UI 13.0.11.0 SGXM anything else and that is based it is had it has mentioned all the things of the device and in the all specs you got latest what do you say in the MIUI you get the latest Android 12 and which is all working all around fine and I would highly going to recommend this ROM to everyone users who those are targeting for a best performance in the MIUI section also. Apart from that, you are getting no security status issue and you get the play system update is so old of about to one year old. And yeah, this is old, but it doesn't mean that it is not having a good range of performance. After that, let me help you to show the same card and internet settings and everything is working all the things in this. Thing. If you go in the wallpaper and personalization option, it would take you to the option of the wallpaper and from here you can see this, you can enable A or D with here you get the always display and you can see that it is not having any 10 second or 30 second. It is unlimited timeline for this. After that, let me go back to the device and from here you can see for that also. In the icons, you get the default icon pack. You can select from here also. If you select this or whatsoever, you can use it according to your likeness or what. And the, here you get the super live wallpapers option you have to download, but it creates a lag whenever you use these things in your device. So I would not going to recommend those things also. If you click on the effects, you get some new not oldie effects for this device. After that, the always on display option is also there with the sleep option. Everything is working fine here. Yeah, you can enable charging glow, wave, low according to your. I will not going to uh, deep going deep to that part. You get the dark mode option, and from here you can select more dark options for the apps. Also, you can do that easily. After that, there is the reading mode, color scheme, vivid, standard, saturated. You can use this as your own preference. Apart from that, here you can open. Sorry, home screen option. If from here you can arrange the system navigation, or same like in MIUI. Here you get the app world new settings, and and UI world. But I don't like app called so close it. This is the home screen layout. You get unlimited home screen layout in this range. You get the icon pack options too. Also in the icons option, you can arrange that hide app icons is there. Don't show text and global icon animation. Arrange items in recent like this. You can arrange or you can go like vertically. So it totally depends on you. Nothing has been more option has been put forward here. Apart from that sound and vibration option, you are getting sound effects from here and no Dolby Atmos is present in this room. So don't be full of that that you are getting Dolby Atmos because same room I'm installed in the suite which is Redmi Note 10 Pro, but it still does not have those things. So you have to not getting that. Fingerprint and face unlock is there, but I don't use and but I have checked for that. It is all working around fine. In the additional settings, you get this old UI settings and screen time options is also been there. You can check out. It is all about the old all the things. Nothing has been more. What do you say? Uh, features or customizations had been put forwarded to this role. If you generally click over here in the widget section. You get some new widget like uh, what do you say these kind of notes widget and you can see, see that new kind of widgets had been already given for like YouTube. You can also arrange for the YouTube search YouTube and you can do it from here. There is nothing more new but yeah it is all working fine so you don't need to be prob it doesn't create a problematic issues in the images section I won't like to share the screenshots of the performance. This is the performance part of the row. This is the only ROM like any in other custom ROMs. The performance is so bad in CPU throttling test, but you can see that it has been run for 15 minutes at 100 threads, not 20 threads. It's at 100 threads. And now you can see that the max is 147 6 GIPS with the no CPU throttling detected. 
it is all based on performance mode you get the l1 security level so netflix is hurray sorry to say that safety in test did not pass it fails this is a wildlife extreme test and now from here you can see that the redmi note 10 got the best loop score of 142 and the stability of 98.6 and this is again another wildlife test with the average frame rate is 2.90 and it is so hard to see that it is scoring that kind of result i'm very much impressive scores that i have got in this we got a single core of 539 and 1589 of the multi core now if you are, want any kind of wallpapers i i will drop a link of my telegram channel you can download it from there after that you can see that the whole ui feels so snappy and there is not a new launcher but uh, this would be the goodest thing that you are getting you get this old things working all around fine you also get this new slider bar for your audio power button or this from here and everything is working all around fine but yeah opening and closing animation of the application not still works and those of you if you want to ask me about the what do you say call recording i have just put the call on the record and you can see that it is having no issues it does not create any sort of what do you say uh announcement like google dialer so it is working fine the it is not having that so you can also use this rom as your daily driver with no issues it does not have any of the sort of issues if you ask me about the device certification you can see this the device certification does passed so no issues that you are getting in this rom so guys if you love my videos then please please subscribe and like to the video for this more what do you say content on my channel so till then bye bye and keep happy keep subscribing